Oh, I look super, super greenish. <laughs> I look like I could celebrate Christmas and St. Patrick's Day all in one. <clears throat> Excuse me. A little sore throat today. Not fun. That's why I like sugar in my tea. Something like that. I don't know. <laughs> I don't put sugar in my tea. I put honey in my tea. But I want to show you what I've made for Eddie. It's so cute. You probably you guys are wondering what that thing, that yellow thing, the blue thing is. I'll show you. It's so cute. <clears throat> it's a little homemade ribbon that I made for Eddie. It's so cute. It says Best Boyfriend Award. Edward Sunjo Kim. But I made that for him. I think it's so cute. And basically, he got a little teary eyed when I made that because with his past relationships and my past relationships combined, it's not a good thing. And he got a little teary eyed because no one has made that for him. So, so cute. So it's December. That means snow might happen. A year ago, um, <laughs> we actually had snow on the day after Thanksgiving. The Monday after Thanksgiving is when we had snow. We didn't have any snow on the Monday after Thanksgiving. And, um, you know, the Monday after this last Mon uh, Thanksgiving, I just, I looked at the calendar and I just... <sighs> Sighed in relief, and I actually cried. Um, that it's been one year since I have put, I should say, Mr. X away. Um, some of you do, and some of you don't know. Um, a year ago, my <coughs> ex. Threatened my life and threatened my parents' lives, and um, all because all because of twenty dollars, and I wouldn't go see him on Thanksgiving uh, on Halloween. And um, my cousin's husband had passed away from a heart attack all of a sudden on, th on Halloween. So I couldn't go see him. I couldn't go see Mr. X. And that he didn't like that very much. And, um... And I said, look, I'm sorry, I can't. And my mom had a doctor's appointment. And she wasn't feeling very good. And my mom felt this instinct that something was wrong. No, something was wrong. My cousin's husband had passed away from a sudden heart attack on his birthday. All things, and um, on his fiftieth birthday. So it was all all at once. And um, Mr. X wanted me to go see him, and I said I can't. And he's like, Well, I need money, and it's like. He wanted money only for cigarettes, and I said, I don't have any, and he thought I was lying, and he said, you better give me money, or else I'm going to blow your brains out and slice your parents' throats in the middle of the night. That scared me, and he had left over 2,000 text messages on my cell phone and when I got the bill I had I don't know if you guys have seen I Justine's video of the AT&T bill and it came, comes in a cardboard box and it's like about like that that's how my cell phone bill was because he had done that and he had hacked onto my account and stuff like that and it was a real mess. 
it was such an, a big mess I just basically said okay this is enough is enough I want a restraining order so I did and I did it all by myself it was, it was scary and I thought oh god this is gonna cost me an arm and a leg and actually it's not it doesn't cost any money <coughs> file a restraining order against your life so I was really surprised you know all those shows that you put see on TV with restraining orders you always think that oh it's gonna cost you a bunch of money it didn't cost me hardly anything it was free because my life was in danger and the judge looked over my documents and all the text messages that he sent and what he had done he basically said, um, you know, this is horrible, you, you know, you shouldn't live like this. And he also had called the state of South Dakota and told them that my parents are um, abusing me and holding my money hostage. And, of course, the woman who... And then I came home and she had left a message on my home phone. And um, I said, you know, whoever told you this is a nut. Do not believe what he has to say. It's not real. My parents aren't holding me hostage. But she had it clear that it, she got confused and she thought that my parents were holding me hostage and stuff like that. And it was a mess but when I got a notification saying that I, I'm free and he's going to be put away for a while I was sighed of relief and that's why I'm lucky I have Eddie you know, um, he was in the same situation with his ex the same time I was dealing with Mr. X as well so I was like, oh. so, you know, just the thought, excuse me, the thought of both of us had the same situation, it's scary. So anyway, on a lighter note, um, that, like I said, that's why I'm thankful I have Eddie. Um, he's the most caring, loving man, and I love him. So anyway, I made this video way too long as it is. So I will talk to you guys tomorrow. All right. Yay. I look like an elf. <laughs> Goodbye.